What's up guys, Mr. Trails here, and in this video we have a guide for you on the new quest for the Island Adventures, The Garden 2, Glow Seeds. So in the second part of this Island Adventures quest chain from the Far Slayer Gardener here, she will be giving you a quest to locate the Glow Seeds, which are just a new interactable item on the Ulrich's Peak Island. There are storms heading our way. She's interrupting me. Thank you very much. And I'll show it on screen. The directions for getting these glow seeds are very vague, and they're sort of intentionally vague to make you have to explore the island a bit more. But if you just want to get done with that part of the quest really quick, then here's the guide for you. Drop a like for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get into it. All right, so to start this off here, I'm actually going to go back to the start of the island. And one way you can do that, if you didn't know this, you can go with the help my character is stuck button to teleport to the front of the island. So this is where you come in on the airship. So from here, the first one we are going to do is the darkest part of the woods. Uh, so we're going to come up here to this air vent here just to, just to make this process a little bit faster. And we're going to go straight from this air vent, flying through some trees. So this this right here, I guess, is where they're technically calling the darkest part of the forest. Uh, and then straight from here is the glow seeds here. These are the glow seeds for the darkest part of the forest, but... You know, it's kind of it's kind of odd that they would match this up because these are obviously directly in sunlight. Maybe it's because uh, that island up there is blocking it, but, you know, we don't have that island down here. Like, that that doesn't actually affect our light on, on the ground here, so I don't, I don't know what the... I don't know exactly what their intention of that was. But yeah, this is the darkest part of the woods one right here. It's it's literally straight from the Aether Vent at the start of the island. And the second one we are going to do is going to be the cliff above the Durf Path. It'll be a decently quick one to get to from here. We're going to take this air vent up here, and then we are going to fly down. You see that air vent? Let's go past that down here, and straight across from that air vent, we are going to find these right here. This is the cliff above the path. Now, a note about these, you do want to grab all of the glow seeds that you find in that area because the quest is kind of finicky about it. So just make sure to grab all of the glow seeds that you find in these areas. And the next one is really close by to this. We can just go straight down here. Uh, this is the Rocky Peninsula one. And you literally just walk straight down toward this side over here. And we have some more glow seeds here. All right, the next one I'm going to do is the glow seeds by the ponds. So I'm actually going to go back to the start of the island again. And from here, we are going to follow our path, our typical path that we would take down this island. So we are going to you know, come up here for a little bit of extra height. We're going to go past this first combat area here. And then we are going to head down this way. This is the direction toward the ponds. We can see those down there. This is another combat area. And you might want to just be slightly careful that you don't get hit by a behemoth that might be down here. And in the back of this combat area here, we are going to find the other glow seeds. And the next glow seeds are going to be the ones at the far edge of the island. So we are going to actually, we can just follow this edge around here. We can actually see them in the distance right there. If you have, uh, you have some good eyes, They're, they are kind of small, but we can see them. Uh, we'll just follow this edge down this way. And we're going to climb up here and go around here, and we can see them right there. Past those bombers, and here we are at the edge of the island. These were actually the first ones that I found out of all of them, just because they are they're kind of in an obvious spot here. And we're going to end with the final one here behind the tall waterfall. Now, the typical waterfall you might be thinking of is that one over there, but that is not actually it. We are going to actually go back toward the forest layer. This is why I'm ending on this one, so you can turn the quest in right away here. So here we are coming back to the Far Slayers area here, and we are going to, at this hut here, we're going to go back behind here, and this is the big waterfall that it's referring to, and for this, we can take a leap off of here on our glider, and we're going to come around, and we see this entrance back here, which you can also get to 
from behind the waterfall, but you probably don't want to do that. It's a little bit easier to just fly in this area here. And here we are. We have the final set of glow seeds. There are actually five down here. Uh, not every single glow seed is actually going to update your quest objectives. So just be sure to grab them all just to make sure. And once you have gotten these down here, you can just jump off the island and it should put you right back above this area. So that way we can just come back over here and we can turn in the quest with the Far Slayer Gardener here. So hopefully this will save you guys a bunch of time. It probably took me like 20 to 30 minutes to find all of these, honestly, just because the clues are kind of vague and there's no map to sort of show you where to go here. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure to drop a like if this helped you out and subscribe to the channel again if you haven't done so already. And I've been Trevor. I go by the Mr. Trails and I'll catch you guys next time.